can't smoke me. Hard to let it go, cause this shit in me ain't on me. I feel like to you, silly, you shouldn't mention a homie. Get your rest, gang, this shit ain't up there, my homie. Oh, how y'all get that shit, bruh? They gave us some sneak peek. Oh, they done bless your game, bruh. Ah. Yeah, man. We in this motherfucker dope as usual. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely that hell gang Mozzie went up top Aki. I had to come pull up on my biologically related loved ones. That man fuck around. You know we fuck around, Bobby Brown. Yo, what's up, guys? I am Thomas Topaz Yola, whatever you want to call me. This is the Dope as Usual Podcast. I hear my co-host, Marty O'Neill. What's up, folks? So, we got a special guest today. Super hype, guys. This is the Dope as Usual Podcast. Here's what I talk about life, drugs, problems, accomplishments, and everything in between. Today, we got Mozzie. Thank you for being here, bro. Oh, man, that was mandated. You know I'm going to pull up, come function with my people. Appreciate you, man. Yeah. Before we got started, you said you know a little bit about Merced? Oh, yeah, I function with Merced. You know, that's Valley. Ain't that included in the Valley, Valley love? Yep. Yeah, come on. They're my people, biologically related. Yeah. <laughs> 209, right? Yes, sir. All right. Love to hear it, man. Yeah. Love to hear it. So before we get started, let's hop right into it. You got a new album coming out. For sure. April 19th? April 19th, couple yep. days in the wake up. Children of the Slums. Children of the Slums, man. How you feeling about this one? Excited about it. Uh, more of me, less features. Um... Which is always good, honestly. Always good. You know that's what they want to hear. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's what they tuning in for, that lingo. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited about it. Uh, can't wait for it to drop so everybody can get a dose of what I've been listening to for the last six months. Yo. Good good money. We're coming with, like, what, 17, 18 I'm, tracks, I'm, right? You know, look, I, I'm one of them niggas that, you know what I'm saying, you give I took mine. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, you're good. You're good. Right. It's happened many times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> El Tucky Boo Boo. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's coming with, uh, I think we probably like 16, 17, 17 deep. Yeah. But, uh, you know, we picked it We picked it out of a photo of about a 40 bar, about 40 tracks to choose from. Pick these 17. Uh, they mean something to me. They all, um, you know, uh, merge into the whole lane of cheering of the slums and what I'm talking about it. So it, it feel like a complete story. And like for me, I'm a photographer, graphic artist, all type of stuff. Your cover art, the photography associated with it is always so like on point and tells a story and everything. Appreciate Especially you. with this, you know, yeah. like it seems like it's very like personal. Most definitely. You know, well thought out kind of theme to the whole album. For sure. And, you know, on the cover art, it's got all the Polaroids of, you know, people I'm assuming that you lost behind you and stuff. Yeah. What's man. that mean to you? Uh, you know it mean the world for me. We, you know this. We sharing the same dream. We all sharing the same dream. So, for me to be right here on the forefront, pushing for the ones who, you know, uh, I'm speaking for the ones who ain't got a voice, whether they deceased or behind them walls. You feel me? And so uh, I'm advocating for them. And uh, it felt good. It felt good to, you know, get that type of recognition when. Uh, you know, we assumed it, it be sometimes it be feeling like it's all for nothing. All these sacrifices made, all this time spent behind them walls, on them level foes. You know, niggas be feeling like, you feel me, they didn't, they didn't sacrifice their life, man, for nothing. And, uh, you know, this kind of like reiterate the hope. It get a hopeless hope. The way you put that. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, you're speaking through it. it all for something. For sure. For sure. They're living vicariously through your success. And Come on. That's, they living through me. I'm mm -hmm. living through them. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. One thing I, I read up on, it says San Quentin 2014, the next year you dropped four albums. Uh, Yeah, when I got out, I think as soon as I got out, I went on one. Four in one year? Yeah, you know how you be behind them, 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 them you be locked in them cages, you be scribbling. So it's already, you already got one up top as soon as you hit the, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Soon as I hit the bricks, it was straight go time. So uh, uh, I wouldn't call them albums. It was more like projects. Projects. I'm just back to back, back to back, back to back. I was excited. Uh, this one, it was taking off for me, and I wanted to keep the flame lit. So I was gassing the fire. Mm -hmm. We went on Spotify and did the math on this. You got 44 albums up on Spotify Hell since nah. 2011. 
Hell no. Nah. <laughs> it's his projects. But y'all, why y'all, yeah. but y'all all my pockets, bro. <laughs> I'm y'all just saying, pocket watching. This, this, this leads to a good question. As an independent artist, what's it take? What kind of work ethic does it take to put out that much music and that consistently? I think when you love something and you're passionate about it, you know, you, you, you don't go off the. You don't go off the numbers. You feel me? You just, you produce. You produce. You in love with it. It come natural to you. It's easy. They giving you a check to do it. So you kind of <laughs> lose sight of, 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 you know, I didn't know I had 44 projects on there. If you would have, if you would have told me to guess, I would have just threw a hundred out there. Just, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? A hundred. I don't know. But uh, you don't keep count. You just keep. You what? He, what he say? You don't keep score. You keep scoring. Mm. You feel me? And that's how I've been operating. So uh, you know, like I said, I'm passionate about what I do. I'm in love with what I do. Um, once upon a time, I didn't have no problem doing it for free. Now they cutting the fees, man. I need that, you hear me? <laughs> but outside of that, man, uh, I really enjoy what I do. And uh, so, uh, it's you know, the work don't feel like work. Yep. Yeah, two work don't feel I like feel you like we come in here, it's sit like down. <laughs> yeah. Every time, man. The work don't feel like work, Every huh? single time, dude. Come on. Even if it was just me and him, I'm chilling. Straight up. Um, so I had a question. Why and when did you go Lil Tim to Mozzie? What's this transformation for or what, Mazi what made money. Mazi made money. Um, we was really just mozzarella mabalato. <laughs> yeah, we was campaigning that, right? That sound too long, huh? No, that's too hard, lengthy. I like it. Syllable, hey, that's too lengthy, huh? <laughs> yeah, they couldn't catch it. So we just, you know what I'm saying, chopped it down into Mazi. Uh, Mazi is the squad as a whole. And, uh, you know, I was pushing mozzarella, you know what I'm saying, me? And uh, it just naturally, everybody just started calling me Mazi, so I ran with it. Cool, cool. I fuck with it. We're basically we're about the same age, from almost the same spot. Don't I, tell nobody else. <laughs> no, I hear a, uh, I hear a lot of Bay like lingo going on. Nah, don't here. do me like that. Nah. That's that Sacramento. Nah, nah, right, it's Sacramento. All right. Yeah. Uh, I used to go all the shows in Sac, all the shows in the Bay, and that's like when I really come. You remember the Catalyst in Santa, uh, Santa Cruz? I remember. Yeah, yeah. I so, walked that thing up a couple times. Yeah, that's the spot, man. So like from Merced, nothing happens in Merced until. You know, 2016, full started coming through and actually playing shows and for shit. Sure, Before for you, sure. like, you got to go to Fresno and Modesto. Someone's going to get beat up. Someone's going to stab, but we got to go to the show in Modesto. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, so, traveling around, what's the best part of, of California to do to perform, I feel? Best part of Cali? For you. Oh, I mean, off the rip. It's hard. I love, I love Fresno. Good shit. Um, Cali, San Diego, they go go, yeah, yeah. Does it? They go go, yeah, yeah. I remember uh, Santa Cruz, not Santa Cruz, Santa Rosa. Was Santa it Rosa, Santa, yep. Rosa? Santa Rosa? Santa uh, Rosa. Yeah, Santa Rosa was slimy. You feel me? It's always been a gangster party out there. Frisco. We got to go with Frisco. When we go to Frisco, you know that, that thing go up. I think it hold like 3,500 or something like that. Yeah. And so uh, I function with Frisco Heavy. Oh, the whole, the whole California, just period. You, they, you know this. I'm a, I'm, I'm a California nigga, so it's automatic everywhere I go in Cali, LA, go Santa, Santa Ana. They tweet. Mm -hmm. uh, Basically everywhere you're saying. Yeah, yeah the everywhere. whole state. I just had to ask because you know anywhere you go, you got a culture in in that part of the state. Yeah. There's something popping there, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's why I was I wanted to see like some of this traveling constantly. Yeah. You know? Well, he's got like a diehard cult following. Yeah, yeah, it's the cult base. following. Yeah. yeah, they be functioning with me. They be functioning with me. I think we like ten years deep in it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And uh I be I be waking up in eyes sometimes. Like, damn, nigga, after all these years we still relevant. You know what I'm saying? And in a most respectful manner, I don't watch so many come and go. Yes. You hear me? Yeah. And so uh, just to be present right now in this moment is, is, is dope. It's dope. It's everything to me. I appreciate my fans. I'm a fan of the fans. Your music's so personal. I feel like you have a different relationship with your fans. They relate to you different than a lot of rappers they listen to probably. Nah, most definitely. You know, they, they jump out, they load, they track me down. Hey, bruh, I don't even take pictures with, I'm not mm -hmm. even no fanboy like that. Nigga, I, bruh, I really love your shit. You hear me? 
Hey, why well, I go? I don't care if it's the bank. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Niggas slithered through the McDonald's drive through. They mines. This you, they everybody always got a prison story too. <laughs> bruh, you got me through the bruh, I'm telling you, nigga, I was in nigga Quentin, nigga. You know what I'm saying it, bruh, that's all we was slapping. So, you know, uh, I function with them heavy. I function with mm-hmm. my fan base heavy. And you were talking about like staying around through so, so many different like fads and like genres of hip hop coming and going and artists, but your sound, like production wise, has always stayed very consistent. Yes. It's classic hip hop elements. Basically. Nah, most definitely. I mean, you know, it's it's, it's a part of branding. Uh, my people got an expectation. You know what I'm saying for me when they throw me on, they they expecting a certain type of. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like we can't go under that bar that we already set. It's a standard. That's the standard. Exactly. It's a standard. And it's almost like, no, nah, it's not like a panic. It's almost like, damn, I got a whole big ass duty to make sure I never. Yeah. Never go lower than the last shit. Most That's how death. we feel with every episode. Every like single thing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. and you got to keep raising the bar. No, and I, I see that. And just by the way you talk, you tell like the fan. You you know the fans is like that's everything. Yeah. So when you see him, you're like even this stuff was up. I it's could tell in your documentary, you know like, crazy. Your whole vibe when the fans walked into like the airport changed, and you go into like super nice it's mode, man. and it's Bruh. like, and you know what's crazy? I was whooped that day too. I did not have it in me, but you feel me? I found it. I yep. found yep. it within. You know what I'm saying? Like, wake your game up, nigga. You exactly. feel me? But uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's. I mean, they the supporters. They pay the bills. Do mm-hmm. they not? Yep. Exactly. Oh, okay, let All me them. know something. Yeah, they're my people for real. Like, I really genuinely function with them. Uh, I don't care if I'm out to eat with the kids and they walk me down, hawk me down. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Brad, can I get a pit? Hell yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I've been waiting on you, nigga. What took you so long? Because <laughs> I remember all the times I'm like, damn, I can't even make rent. Come mm. on. And now it's like, I can't because of you. Come on. Appreciate you, man. For sure. Yeah. That's how you stick around for a long time. Forever. No, no, you, you got to be that way. Or if not, why are you here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's the yeah, point? What's the point? I don't understand it. You know, but I see to it each happen. his own. Yeah, I've yeah, seen it happen the opposite own. way before. Mm-hmm. And you know, you probably, when you were a kid, you met that, oh, that fool was a jerk. I love that fool. I, so when I was a kid, Brett Favre did that shit to me. So I'm like, oh, fuck that shit. I'll take a picture. I don't care for my dinner. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Why Let not? Get 30 there? years later, that shit. I know, still. He louder. fucked up, bro. <laughs> 30 years later. Um, so you're from up, up north. What was that move to the, because it says you moved down here in 2016? That's probably about right. Same with me. Literally down to the month. I, I looked it up. How long he's been down here? What's the biggest difference from NorCal to down here that you've noticed? Because I noticed a bunch of shit. Opportunity. All right. Yeah. I like the positivity exactly. on this. Yeah. All right. Okay. Great answer. Yeah. Opportunity. It's so much opportunity here. It's overwhelming, man. Like, you know, it's, it's like you don't got no excuses. Yep. Like at home, yep. you know, uh, it, it's it's like I said, since it's a lack of opportunity, you almost feel like you ain't doing something right. But you come out here and you apply that same press, you know, you got to work 10 times ha- uh, harder in Northern Cali. Yeah. Just due to a lack of structure as far as, you know, the entertainment is concerned. So if you got to work 10 times harder, you come down here, you like, oh, this is a cakewalk. Let me eat. They giving it to me. You mm-hmm. feel me? I could walk in this podcast, this podcast, go mm-hmm. function with my people. The network is there. You know what I'm Constant. saying? And it's and it's so much of this region where it's it's so open. Like, you know, LA is a political place, but the opportunity is is so much opportunity that the opportunity like it, the position you don't even get it don't get political. You know what I'm saying? It don't get too political, should I say. So it's love. Yeah, and I feel like everyone's main goal is like, yeah, we got problems, but I like money. More than I like these problems. For sure, for and sure. So that's the one thing. Why I moved out here? I was like, I'm here every week. I'm crushing it. Why I move in Merced? Why do I live in Merced still? So, that, so I had to make the move. So I had to ask. Like, so one thing you know, you've been is winning different. since you touched on. Hell yeah, yeah. Actually, the, fir- the first year I was Pop like chilling. I'm like, yeah, I'm in L. A. I'm smoking, getting fucked. I'm having, and then I'm like, nah, buckle down, bro. The universe Since works then. when you believe in yourself yeah. like that. I feel nah, like. for sure. As soon as I came out here, I went up. I skied up. I mean, coming from Sacramento, first hundred bands, you like, whoa, I hit, right? Then we slithered down to LA, run up a hundred bands in half the time. I'm like, this is crazy. Mm-hmm. That's why I was dropping so much music. I seen it working. I seen mm-hmm. it working. I was hungry. Um, I didn't feel like it was going to last forever. If you would have asked me then, I wouldn't imagine it being 10 years strong, 10 summers. You hear me? So, um, it just uh, when I seen the opportunity, it was bite down. Let me let me feast. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I ain't just talking about musically either. 
game. Just like I said, once more, networking. Mm -hmm. You start running into people who sell houses. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh you, I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, they put yeah. you on. They throwing alley-oops. People mm -hmm. enlighten you just about, you know, how to diversify your portfolio and, and tweak on certain aspects of different games. Like, right now, I'm interested in a um, transitional home, assisted living, and like, uh, so like I, I went tweaking on that when I was in SAC, mm -hmm. you hear me? It's when I come out here and people introduce it to me. So I love it. Mm -hmm. yeah, the one thing I noticed is uh, everyone's side plays are like my main shit back home. You know? You know what I'm saying? Oh, you talking shit. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I mean? Like, Hell yeah, Because pulls what you out mean. here like, no, I got this two businesses going. But like, you got two fucking businesses? I didn't even know you had these motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Back home, like, I own a taco stand. Like, hell yeah, you do. We all know that shit. But yeah. over here, like, no, I own this spot and I own that spot. Damn, bro. Crazy. Like, yeah, and the most low key fools wearing gap clothes you would never, never ex expect own this commercial property. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I. That's my main thing now. Like I'm looking at warehouses. Like fuck, I want to buy that. Bitch. Oh, you've been tweaking on them. I've been just staring at them, dude. Like this one, I rent, and I wish I never did. I could have like, already put some money into this bitch, you know. Hell yeah. So that that's one thing. Like what Jeezy said, he's like, I don't trap. I think about trapping. I think about houses. Yeah. Because yeah. I asked him, do you miss that shit? Because I miss fucking selling packs so much. Uh -huh. It was so fun. Fuck the money. Yeah. I love seeing packs disappear, man. I don't know what it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can see like, oh, those are the twenty perps, and those are the twenty greens. I can see the difference. I'm gonna make $500 uh -huh. more on this bitch. It's like not even the money, house. it's like a video game. It's like, damn, I'm collecting Mario coins and shit. That's oh. how I felt about it. That's dope. You know? But now it's like, ah, man, I gotta buy some houses or something. Hell yeah. yeah some now, property. That's what I've been on. I've been on that heavy, but you know, they, they fucked the game up with the Airbnb shit where, you know, they using rent control, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So it be throwing it off. Like, I, <laughs> oh, you already took this up? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've been fucking with them. I'm in the process of fucking with them right now. Uh -huh. I want that Holy Moly Donuts. Uh, Shopping center from Friday, shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little right. ones where I, I want like just a parking things. lot. I want a fucking parking <laughs> lot. <laughs> oh, imagine how sick. Get straight to it. Get it's straight to it. All day long, there's no downtown. Overhead. You need a oh, downtown, downtown parking <laughs> lot. <laughs> Those ones are making hundred bands a week, dude. Nobody's working <laughs> there. Come on. No, there's one dude working there on his phone. It's going like that. It's me. I'm just fucking. Stepping it's me. Yeah. Get the game. <laughs> All right. I got a question. Talk we got like a younger fan base, a lot of kids in high school, like 20 year olds, people kind of going through all that type of shit. Uh, your new single, Jaded. A lot of the music overall talks about loyalty. Most definitely. Everything that comes with that. What advice would you give to kids that are out there like, I would die for these dudes and I'm hanging out with? Like, you feel that intense loyalty and then time goes on, you become grown. It's like, it wasn't even that. I don't even know these fucking dudes anymore. Like, it, that was not worth it. The first wave. Oh, you whore for that. <laughs> you tapped in. You been going through this gangster shit, oh, too? Man. <laughs> you I got a story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, nah, I come with it, man. It's trial and error. You live and you learn. You know, it's almost the same thing. Because these people that, that, that we consider when we grow up with our peers... And you know they become family. That's a real feeling. You feel mm -hmm. like you're closer to them than you is with your, you know what I'm saying, your, your siblings or your aunties and like even the people of our community. I'm a child of the trench, so you know everybody in our community, nigga, they love this dearly. They familiar with us. They know our family, et cetera, et cetera. So of course, when you grow up with these people, same sandbox, and you know y'all part ways, that should be heartbreaking. You yeah. feel me? And as men, we gonna act like nigga that shit ain't about nothing. You feel me? I ain't worried about it. Fuck it. Less is more. But uh, it do something to you. It do something to you. And uh, you know, it's just a part of the. It's, it's a part of the beautiful struggle. Mm -hmm. So you know, we just run it concurrent. I deal with it the same way you deal with it. As it come, how it come, and uh, you know. So I identify with what you talking about, heavy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, learn how to manage it. People trying to leverage your loyalty to them that ends up bringing you down and shit. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it come with the territory, man. It's crazy. Yeah. No matter where you are, you go through that shit no matter where you brought up at. Yeah, I don't care. Gang banging, nope. you know what I'm saying? Me, whatever. Like, you know, your best friend. And nigga, y'all grow up outside of gang banging. Your real friend. And, and a dispute happen or it get ugly, nigga gonna feel some type of way. But it be like, you know, you gotta cut, you gotta cut them off for the benefit of self. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel about it. The benefit of self is true shit. Yeah, yeah. Let alone the music business being the most ruthless <laughs> cutthroat shit you can get nah, into. Nah, but you adapt to that. This yeah. shit is almost, you can see it, it's fake. You know what I'm saying? We function with me, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, when a nigga buzzing, on fire, oh, love one. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. We gotta work. Yeah. yeah. We gotta work, smart. I hate that work. line so much. Hey, right. as soon as it get ugly, nigga be three years in and then nigga just coasting, there ain't too much motion. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You tap in, bro, let's run that concurrent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know a nigga is, so that, that come with it. And you know, when you're dealing with it from the streets in real life uh, with real people, you know what I'm saying this rap shit is it's it's much. I think it's easier. This shit ain't about nothing. Nigga. I I completely understand it. We partners today. It's fuck you tomorrow. All right, you hear me? <sighs> Damn. At least you know where you're at with standing with this shit. Nah, it, you it it, it it teach you how to treat it. The game teach you how to treat it. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The game teach you how to treat it. So. You know, I when, understand it. Yeah, when you're on a mission, it's like but, you can't be holding me back. We, we can't play with the ones. See, we highlighting the, the, the we highlighting the fuckery. We got to highlight the ones who stay down. Thank you, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, what we need to be talking yeah. about. The shout out yeah, to them. Yeah, 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 the real ones. The real ones in the game that really function with you, call you genuine about yeah, the whole yeah. situation. Bro, how you living? How you mental? Yeah, I ain't. You go down, niggas tapping in with your team. Man, give me bro, info. I need that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, them yeah. the real ones. Fuck yeah. Dude, I got a couple real rap friends, too. Dude, you signed that poster for us out there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nah, you know I'm going to do that. That's automatic. Appreciate that. That's automatic. So, got a question. Uh-huh. What do you, in your opinion, what's the best Jacka album? Oh. It's hard because there's a tie for like three. Bro, I got a tear gas. Yeah, tear gas? Okay. I'm going to go with tear I, gas. I, was, I, I remember albums in uh, grips of like time of life and shit when it came out. Like that album yeah. came out and I was like 21. I was selling Mad Packs. I was going to say And I remember like that feeling of like, you know, glamorous mm -hmm. lifestyle star. I'm hitting the bridges and shit. Mm -hmm. So you got to go tear gas? Yeah, I'm going to go tear gas. But I like the one, uh, the first one. I don't know if it's Jack of All Trades, but he had... Jack of All Trades, he has the, the cards in his face. Yeah. yeah. Green cover. Good shit. I think, yeah. Oh, I got the brown version of that one. Oh, it's brown? Yeah, I got a brown version of that one. I got a wild well, memory, so I know exactly what that one fucking Oh, no, nah, you probably... You know it. You know it. Like, you I might have got a fucking another version, yeah, you though. Know you, know? It. you know it. Yeah, the Jack of All Trades. I think... I know it's like more of a mixtape, but I think the street album is just... It's just oh, so nah, fucking... I love, the I love it too. so much, man. I love the street album. <laughs> I still be functioning with it. I bring him up. I oh, be, yeah. Yeah, I pull him up every other day. I've, he the I've, truth, banging peace. <coughs> I mean, you can hear it in my sound. Oh, yeah. All criers. I want criers. I think he was, I ain't going to say he one of the first, but that I was tweaking on, them, uh, what they call them, them samples. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. I fell in love with that nigga shit. Every time a sample came on, it was like, it, it, it caught me. It did something to me. So, uh, to this day, I'm, you can hear it. I'm samples, criers, you feel me? Just the way that he inspired me and how he made me feel. It's like, I sense that I get the same feeling to the people. 100%. Yeah. Yep. So that's yeah, it's I a street poet. That's street how I poet. see it. Come street on. poet, man. Somebody asked yeah. me the other day what, what that type of music called. I ain't know what to say. I was gonna mm. say therapy session. <laughs> street, street poetry. Poet. Nah, that's how I feel about him. It's my favorite artist of all time. Mm -hmm. Uh, going into some more current hip hop shit. Talk I was just explaining this whole situation. Oh, to Thomas a little I'm bit dumb. Lately. I don't know I if you got no any input on this shit or not. It's all like this J. Cole, Kendrick, then this J. Cole response to the shit when he went on stage and poured his soul out to these fans. Did that seem weird to you? It seemed like he had a fucking gun to his head. It was a slight smile. Like, <laughs> Someone had, some had a beam on him from the side of the stage. Y'all ain't cool, bro. I like to utilize my right to remain silent. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. That's the best yeah, thing you can say. That, yeah. Best thing you can say yeah. about that. No, I like it. Okay. I like it. I like it. Uh, I'm in love with it. You know, uh, I see a lot of responses on there, how they growling. And they like, man, this is supposed to be hip hop. Yeah, yeah, and I'm in agreement. It's supposed to be hip hop. You feel me? I don't feel like it's any activity or, you know, gangster shit going on with that. So I respect it as hip hop, and uh, you know, uh, I'm a fan of this shit. So mm -hmm. I want to see it too. Yeah, I want to yeah. see the dopest collide. Mm -hmm. That's what we pay to see boxing for, right? Exactly. You want to see the dopest collide? Yeah, yeah. It come with it. Yes, yeah, exactly. What would you say the other day? Give these guys steroids. I want to see him take a head off. Right? Like, damn. Uh, it becomes a box. Uh, <laughs> That's what we're here for, right? That's what we're here for. Fuck. Speaking of which, no, you got I any thoughts? Uh, we're having Devin Haney coming on. Yeah. You got any thoughts come on the upcoming fight with him, Ryan Garcia? I think Devin Haney going to blend him. I think so, too. 
You know what I'm saying? Like practice, you know it's yeah, fucked up though. Get it's fucked up because you can go bet a hundred thousand on him and only make ten. Oh, uh, what the hell? That's oh, insane. Why would John does do that? that kind of shit? Mm. I'm like, you spent ten k, you only make a rack. Man. You're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> do you go crazy with the sports betting and shit? Nah, I be I be bullying. I don't be really functioning with it like that. I ain't too much of a gambler. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah! Mm -hmm. I just started. I can't wait to start. But look. I'm flirting with it though. Just relax. <laughs> just relax. Nah, look. On them uh, stocks, they day trading. Oh, oh brother's on yeah. that shit. Yeah. That's a oh, video your brother game. eating. My brother's he, he living me the like other day. That? I was like, what do you mean? You made this into this? Bro, he, he living like that. You're stealing, motherfucker. That's how I feel. <laughs> Yo, if, you, if you're good enough with that shit and you can understand graphs and you can make 40 bands in three days. I fucking I love you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. I, I, I'm so happy for you, bro. Wolf of Wall Street. Show. Yes, exactly. I, I, <laughs> Wolf of Wall Street. I got to grind it out another way, bro. My brain doesn't function that way. You don't fuck with it like that. I, my brain doesn't get it. Like I'm looking at it, but I'm like, all right, some grass, motherfucker. Damn. <laughs> so you, you're up on a, how about like crypto and Bitcoin and all that type of shit? Uh, I was flirting with it. I was flirting with it. Of course, I jumped in on a Dogecoin train. Hit for like a hundred thousand wow off a team, <laughs> oh, shit. and uh, I didn't cash out. No, oh. uh, no. that motherfucker, <laughs> that motherfucker slid downhill on me. <laughs> yeah, that Dogecoin. If you hit on that, you really, really crushed it. I, I, I'm too afraid of that shit. So my homie invests a nah, lot. Nah, it's gambling. It is gambling. That's why I told on, him. Just before bro. I started gambling. Come on, I never thought about it like it that. It is gambling. It's like I hope. Mm -hmm. Like my homie, he I'm, put a he put so much money into this shit. I saw his money and go cash it today. Or I'm gonna fucking night be your friend. I hate you. What happened? Right? What happened? Yep. Three months later, Oof. one point. Well, I won't say it, but like more, yeah. he yeah. lost a lot. It a lot. got ugly. It, it got, got bad, ugly. Bro. It got bad. Man. That's the gambling part of it. On my mama. But uh, they say as long as you you equip with the knowledge, man, it 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 uh, you know it, it minimizes the gambling. Yes, it minimized the risk, which mm. minimized the gambler. So, uh, nah, but uh, yeah, I be I, I fuck with that. Like I tweak on some shit like that. Nigga be like, bro, I'm telling you, this finna go up. Yeah, let me see y'all long. I might body slam a nickel or a ten piece. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, contribute a nickel or a ten piece. Get right, sit on it. You feel me? Let that motherfucker yeah. do his Dougie for two, three years. Uh -huh. yeah. See what I happens? Thought, hey, I thought Dogecoin though. I was I was buying them motherfuckers for under a half a penny. Yeah, I remember you hear me? That. I kept telling myself, I'm like, look, nigga, uh, Bitcoin went to almost a hundred k. Dogecoin gonna go to a dollar. At the time, I think Bitcoin was hawking 50K now. But I'm like, it's going to, so if, if Bitcoin 50K, just simple mathematics, right? This is how I'm thinking as a street nigga. <laughs> Those going to go to a dollar. So if I'm buying a motherfucker for under a half a penny, <laughs> oh, yeah. I seen it shoot up too, though. Yeah. Yo, I remember that phase of life. I was so happy for everyone making money. And I'm like, I hope you pull all your shit out today. Mm -hmm. That's all I kept telling everybody I knew. Just pull it out. Put it back in if you want it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just get your right. fucking money. Like, get it out. Like, when I'm playing exactly, roulette, yeah. like give me my shit. I couldn't sleep if I, put if it I knew the shit. And I play with there. this shit. I just I sold. I'd be like, you know how many packs I got to sell for that shit? Like, I would never do that right now, bro. What weed? Yeah, you, you want some smoke? Nah, I, you got some Pacquiao's. I need like I don't know. Oh, some Pacquiao's. Nah, I'm, <laughs> this I'm, door, no, I'm talking shit. I'm talking <laughs> shit. I'm talking shit. I was shit. like, there's a lot of cameras, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nah, that's how you was body slamming that motherfucker. You like, ah. yeah, I nigga, gotta that. sell drugs, nigga. I just missed that <laughs> shit, man. You remember the pack, like the purples from? Oh, you remember the granddaddy purples from like Humble? You don't remember that? You don't remember that? That's when no. it was Zai. It was that's when purples was Zai. I never use that term. I, that's a new term to me. <laughs> exotics. Oh, exotics. Of oh, course. I, I that's when the purples that. were 65. That's when the purples was exotics, mm -hmm. bro. It was exotic. And Kushes were extinct. Yeah. Unless you came down here. Niggas was selling LG, light green. It was selling OG, LG, OG. <laughs> it was all type of mobile phone networks going on. You know what I'm saying? But uh, well, I, I function with the uh, I function with the perps. That's all we smoke. And then there's, it was like little circle nugs remember that shit what it doesn't it? come like that 3.5 50 oh, all day yeah 1.2 uh dubs in come my town. on yeah. you wasn't doing two for 15s nope three for 20s <laughs> nope oh <laughs> nah, we ain't fucking with hell you. no <laughs> we i all the college bro, kids man <laughs> my homies is different though homies is different they always used to play yeah. my ass come on bro you can have me a little more my year 
bitch. I front you eighth every day. I never get my money back. I never get my money back. <laughs> I fronted this one girl for three years, bro. She's uh-huh. my friend's wife. Mm-hmm. That's just whack. Uh, one of our fans' questions. <laughs> What's your favorite place, favorite time to smoke? Uh, of course, in the morning. You're the morning the guy? Morning. This guy too, man. Yeah. Not, so it's, it's called wake and bake, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's for smoking outside at five in the morning. Die! It's ridiculous. Yeah. It's fucking ridiculous. Oh, okay, <laughs> real life stoner, huh? Yeah, this motherfucker. Yeah, nigga. G-O-D, stone bitty in this motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah, Marty, yeah. Marty's from Buffalo, so all that cold weather, man. He's got the craziest lungs. Oh I yeah, this, this, oh, this, this shit be, right bro. here is this crisp. Oh yeah, yeah. This is a daydream every day. Yeah, not for sure. I think I went to Miami. And uh, it was nigga hot as shit, raining, and the air was so thick. You know, somebody like just Human. being, a, yeah, being a ca- humid, just being a California nigga, man. That, you know, transitioning to that, I was like, oh my god, I was suffocating. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I don't worst. know how they play sports out here. <laughs> they don't. That's really. why they monsters, though. <laughs> mm-hmm. All the all the yeah. fellas come out of out of the Yemi, don't they? Right. It's like running through hot bath water and shit. Yeah, yeah. Marty, that's a good way to put it. Fast time. Yep. <laughs> With the when the shit sticks to your chest. Uh-huh. Yeah, exactly. Uh, um, but yeah, no, I will say that when you, I go to other states. You from Boston? Buffalo. Buffalo. Buffalo, okay. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Taking a moment to talk about one of our sponsors, and this is MyBookie. So right now, click the link in anywhere you're watching. Click the link in the description. That's going to take you directly to MyBookie, or you can use our code Dope as usual. Our code is going to get you, listen to this. If you sign up now, they'll match your bet up to $1,000. You bet $999, they'll match it $999. So think of that. You want to bet 50 bucks? You have a chance at betting 100, essentially. So no matter what time it is, what day it is, and you feel like betting, make sure it's with MyBookie, and use our code Dope as usual, and get it matched all the way up to $1,000. So we're going to run this little clip me and Marty made. We just we're just having fun out here, all right? Thank you so much for everybody that supported the little post we did. My bookie, shout out to you for reposting it. Professor Devin Haney, everybody on this. Thank you guys so much. We really appreciate you guys. Right now we're gonna roll this little clip. Thank you guys so much. We're gonna get back to the episode after this. Shout out to my bookie. Have a dope ass day. Hey, what's up, guys? This 420, Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia. Make sure you use our code dope as usual at mybookie.com and win big. What's up, guys? Taking a moment to talk about one of our new sponsors. This is Magnum Labs. And I've seen some people tag us in it. Some of you have already tried it. Countless flavors. Live resin, two gram carts, the original two gram cartridge, ceramic heating element, liquid diamonds, lab tested, and right here, scratch and verify Magnum right there. That way you know it's real. These are not fake carts. You're not getting them from your aunt's new boyfriend that makes them. No heavy metals, pesticides, no vitamin E, or any other additives or fillers. But if you want to check them out right now, see their store locator and all information about them go to instagram and follow them magnum lab official they have all information up there every single thing that's the only one that's the only one that's legit and guys it it's disappears in your hand it looks like one of those little vape pens that i see at every 7-eleven this thing is very very discreet you can't even tell that i have anything in my hand Magnum Lab Official on Instagram. Go check them out. Go leave a comment. Go drop a comment. Let them know you saw them on the Dope As Usual podcast. Thank you so much for supporting the brands that support us. This is Magnum Labs coming to a store near you. Thank you once again. Back to the episode. I will say I appreciate the California weather, man. Not Every time sure. I'm smoking a joint and it's like clear, I think of my homies in Florida and New York. Like, that's sad. Yeah. I can't imagine growing up in a place like Eight that. feet of snow and shit. Fuck that, bro. <laughs> no, on. no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, I can't live that snow life. No. We I've was in Alaska. We times. was in Alaska. Ugly. <laughs> you were in smooth. Alaska. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> All right. So you know they pay you to live out there. Nah. Yeah. They giving you the you chick move here. To Alaska, I, think, I they, think they doing that over there by Barstow too. Damn. Just trying to populate little sections and shit. They uh, said uh, uh, Atlanta. I seen that in Atlanta and one of the little off skirt city cities in Atlanta. Uh, that's tight though. Hell yeah! But yo, you want to come out here and just populate our fucking area? I'll, mm-hmm. I'll give you forty bands. Easy. It's crazy how much money they give you to move, just go live. So yeah, shit, I would have took that at eighteen. Hell That's yeah! They trying, they trying to turn, they trying to turn the value up on everything. Mm-hmm. More people moving, property. True. Ah, yeah, exactly. yeah, they doing, they know what they doing. Uh, yeah. Speaking of entrepreneurial type stuff, one of the most asked yes. fan questions that we got. 
pertains to the one person that's brought up probably the most when people talk about people that artists that inspire them. One of my favorite artists of all time, somebody you collaborated with, Nipsey Hussle. Mm. Do you have any stories about working with him or anything you learned from him or his work ethic? Nah, he the truth. He just the truth at what he do. Uh, you know, a perfectionist, if you ask me. But mm. yeah, when I first got to LA, he invited me, told me to pull up to the stool, slithered in there. We walked down two songs, easy, and uh, you know it was it was the chemistry was there. I functioned with him heavy. Rest in peace, Nip. Sick. So you guys are in the studio to together shit. recording. Yeah, he invited me. Shout out uh, Jay Stone. Mm -hmm. Jay Stone slid it up on me. I'm saying drop in, pulled up activities. I got in there, did my Dougie. He like function with it. Like, that's mm -hmm. smooth. Okay, we run it back. He do his Dougie. I mean, and uh, it was it was lit. It was a gangster party. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but nah, one of the dopest to do it. Um, you know, I live I live by one of the quotes I heard him say: "Stay in your own lane; it's less traffic." <laughs> mm. Hello, hard. Love that. That just woke yeah. my game up mm. when I heard that. But um, love that. Yeah, and the whole the whole just the whole branding marathon. You know what I'm saying, me, it, it's crazy. I'm in love with it. Uh, wish he was still here, nigga, to keep this shit lit. Yeah, it was so smart to make a brand that's like something everybody can tap into rather than just his own shit or something that'd be obvious. Nah, yep. for sure. And then, you know, going with the Victory Lap album, yeah. it's the whole thing. It's that, the way he just put that together and cultivated that was just genius and legendary. So we got another fan question, uh, something I'm curious about. Do you uh, fuck with mushrooms at all? Uh -uh, I'm scared of them. Oh, man. Not never once? Yeah, I didn't tamper with it. All right. <laughs> so you did? You had a bad experience, I'm assuming? Nah, it was lit. That motherfucker looked like oh. this room. Yeah. It no. was looking like this room <laughs> around us. I'm like, yeah. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't tamper with it. I didn't chew them. Nasty. Nasty burnt. as hell. Uh, little chocolates go crazy. Way better. Yeah. And uh, two different eyes, too. I thought like the chocolates are a little more uh, sedated and, and the, the mushrooms are like, yo, I might end up outside just running. Mm. That's how I feel. Like, oh, I'm that's how out. you was living? Why well, eat a shitload of Bro, give me an yeah. example of what you, uh, what you compared to. Eat oh. pill? Nah, nah. See, we had all those pills in 2008, like the mescaline. It was called, remember that shit? Yeah. And you grind your fucking teeth all night. Um, the mushrooms to me are like, I eat a shitload though, so I'm a crazy person. I'm completely out of my own head. But I feel like they're like a, a little cheat code to see what the fuck else we're not seeing. Because mm. I feel like some crazy people I see talking like, nah, I think that was on to some shit. We don't see what he's seeing. Oh, uh, see, I ain't had them shrooms. <laughs> <I ain't laughs> had them. I'm them, sure. Man, them motherfuckers <laughs> gave me a light high and a headache. He's <laughs> 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 flying over the city. Yeah, and shit. Yeah, bro, I see. I look yeah. down on my own body and shit. <laughs> nah, I'm tripping. That's like DMT. I'm yeah, cool. bro, I gotta come fuck with you after the show, bro. You yeah, come, life, come bro. get high. This fool just started dabbling in mushrooms. He's immune to them for some reason. That shit ain't nothing. They do nothing to them. They don't really. See? Uh, I try to dip what my toe in say. too much. I try to dip my toe in too much. I gotta just bro, go a light for it. high and a headache, yeah. bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's all Usually. that shit was, huh? Yeah, I'm Basically. smooth. Yeah, I'm just sticking to the script. I'm sticking to the script. Uh -huh. uh, another one of our top questions Your song is Sleepwalking. Run up top, Aki, some stocky and a choppy nigga. We done came a long way, traveled down the wrong way. They ain't find the shell cases. Thankful for the cold case. Thankful for the prostitutes, assuming that we soulmates. Thankful for the big homie, coach me through the dope game. Nigga, that's that, yeah. Bro, you're you the know first person walking. that's you're ever the said their own the shit bruh. on the show Come ever. On. In three bruh, years, bro. you know about sleepwalking, bro? <laughs> In three bruh. fucking years, Marty. Nah, that's, that's, uh, that song was just so therapeutic to me. For me, uh, it got me through so much shit. I'm talking about that song alone. If it wouldn't have did what it did, it still would have been one of my favorites. Mm. Hell yeah. And it ended up in Black Panther. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. You talking about the movie? Yeah. The Marvel movie. Yeah. Black Panther? The, that motherfucker the was in movies of the Are world? you serious? You just found out your movie. Is, are you fucking with me? But that motherfucker was in Black Panther, bro. Are you guys serious right now? That shit's in Black Panther, man. Get the fuck out of here, bro. You really are just doing your own thing. No, I'm, just, I'm kidding. Just... I'm kidding, bro. You know I know oh. that motherfucker. You know I know that motherfucker in Black Panther. I lost my mind with that motherfucker. Oh my god. 
Bro, I lost my marbles on G.O.D. My grandmother and them went to go see it. They got to mm. hear the song in it. So, you know, uh, that, that was just different. It was different. And the way they just put everything, is, everything was in sync. The scene, the song, yeah. I functioned with it at the end of it. So it's like, it, man, they did that for me. Shout out, shout out K Dot Ho, you know what I'm saying? Uh, did TV. you like pitch that to them or did they come at you with that? Nah, they just was functioning with us, doing real nigga shit like they do. Wow. You know what I'm saying? It just came to you. Yeah, they doing wow. We function with them, of course. We got a little relationship, yeah. but I'm saying yeah. like just real nigga shit. You know what I'm saying? J Rock, the whole TDE. Mm -hmm. That's why I tell people all the time when they ask me for advice, it's focus on your relationships because like shit just... Yeah, that is what you always say, actually. If you want to get ahead, that's how you sprout things come about and happen and shit. For sure. But to be from SAC, to be doing your thing, start your music, and then you're like, damn, my shit's in Marvel. Ten years later, that's a that's a hard grind. And that's not the only movie you... No, no. Got, it right? is, but you know, you try not to add up the accolades and, no, no, and no, all no. that. But you feel me? You don't even... You know how you roll running and you just going, going crazy? Yeah. Keep like, going. Damn, that was four years ago? Yeah. Shit. Keep going. Right. Yeah, we're going we gonna to double back on the on the history books, you know what I'm saying, me after we... Yeah. yeah. But it, we got a couple more, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. sprints to run. So uh, I just feel like I try not to let that... Yeah. Don't think about it. Yeah, yeah you don't even think you about it. You see it, though. You screenshot your shit like, damn. Yeah, All right, I got yeah. shit to do. I got that trophy. I'll look at it later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. On everything. But there's got to be a what? Well, I always ask. There's got to be. Do you remember one moment? You're like, damn, this shit's really fucking popping? Uh, there's got to be one somebody. Yeah, I want the fat burger. And I remember I got a text. I'm like, that shit's popping. Because I remember I asked every I mean, guest this. Of course, I'm going to have to go with uh, when, when K Dot said at the Grammy Awards. Got up to, like my boy Mozzie say, got up top, nigga lost this word. I'm like, whoa, <laughs> hold on. He ain't had to say that. Mm -hmm. He could have said all type of other shit. It's hella shit to say. It's so you much. You know what I'm saying? But he said that, and uh, you know, that was big. Just, just you know, somebody that we consider a god in the music industry, man. Uh, not to take it, I don't take it out of context or nothing yeah. like that, but a fella like, nigga, we said, and he acknowledging Sometimes it be feeling like little old me, cause I'm still me. Yeah. So yeah. even after you accomplish everything you accomplish, you, I still got that same. I'm still him, little mm -hmm. Tim. You hear me? Yeah. So everything is just like it's magnified. You know, when you take a stop and look at it, you be like, damn, he really did that. You feel me? Cause nigga, humble soul, nigga don't be really tripping. Mm -hmm. Just working, working, working. So to get that type of recognition is dope. That's exactly. real. I mean, you're one exactly. of the artists that. The lyricists and the rappers that been around respect. They yeah. fuck with yeah. me a little bit, huh? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, now that you're good. It seems like it. <laughs> yeah, I be, I, be, I be shooting that shit. I shoot that shit. I be playing with that shit. Sometimes yeah. you got to say that shit, though. Yeah. You know? All right. This is a fan question. I think we got to keep her out. Yeah. <coughs> go for it. First Damn. time, first Damn. time we're getting asked. When you go to the liquor store. What's your order? What are you normally getting at the corner store? What's your order at the liquor store? Yeah, because you know, like a Habaro hab hab fucking gummy bears and shit. Cause I know, I'm like, uh, I know that one. <laughs> I grab that bitch, a water. Oh, you do your shit, huh? What's your shit? Man, when I was hitting corner stores, it was a fucking Dollar Dutch and probably a fucking orange pop and a white tea. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Yo, grabbing up Buffalo's Kelly different, kid, huh? bro. You guys sell shirts in New York at the store. Yeah, you can I, get an outfit. I mean, in certain parts of Merced, they do too. Yeah. You're right. They sell pro clubs. I, I take it back. You can get a sub too, by the way. A sub, yeah. yeah. At the store. <laughs> oh yeah, y'all y'all got bodegas. We do. Y'all do. Yeah, but they're like they're Arabian though. It's not like you know I mean? <laughs> they're my people. Mm -hmm. I fuck with them. Hey, uh, now nah, I'm gonna grab some uh, some barbecue lays. I'm saying. Uh, a water bottle, health is wealth. I need my bag. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saying, uh, uh, nigga, probably some sour punches and some cheese. It sour. Hold on, what color sour punches? Bro, you don't fuck with the sour the punches. Straws? Bro. Ah, the come straws. on, man, that's one of my favorite candies. <laughs> okay, yeah. it, it was the, it was the blue ones when I was a kid. That's the one you was. I mean, it was famous when we was kids. Then was famous, almost like the blue pack of Skittles. They was yeah, famous. the tropicals and yeah, shit. Yeah, the tropes. But um, nah, I be on my, I be, I fuck with the strawberry manners, so I be. All right, with. all right, I got you. <laughs> Damn, when I was a kid, and I got my own pack of, of sour straws. Fuck, <laughs> crazy. That walk back was crazy. But you acting like you come from books of food stamps and shit. Uh, <laughs> the fuck, I'm from Merced, uh, California, man. Yeah. No, but you know, you get that fucking styrofoam, the seventy nine cent cup. Come back with that bitch a day later. Uh -huh. They fill it up for ten cents. <laughs> they That's fill it up for ten cents. Remember those days, man? I miss all that shit. But I don't miss being 
the little ass broke ass old poor kid. <laughs> oh, you was in that beautiful struggle, huh? Trying we to all, get I together. think we all were, man. We, At uh, some point, you know. He got yeah, married yeah. over the weekend. No, he yeah, did. yeah. <laughs> bah, bah, bah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations ago. to my thank killer you, man. Thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you Appreciate it We had all his family in town Yeah, he finally met everybody His Nobody grandma kind of Cared out his mom over this shit It's all good <laughs> You know, we had a good little Mexican function Okay It was good, man Hey, congratulations yeah, yeah, It's amazing yeah, no. It feel different? Fuck no Fuck no? Not I at all I was just talking to somebody I, no. I told him, I said, nigga it, It's crazy Because our, our, the ghetto only get married Nigga when they go to jail <laughs> you know what I, mean? I need you to come back every month. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I know. I, I'm, I know that. Uh, that whole story. Yeah, but uh, so you know, to be able to do that shit out here, like that's dope, bro. That's oh, it was, dope. it was, it was cool, man. We had like had a whole dab bar set up and shit. Everybody got fucking wrecked. Right. It was good, man. What's the last time you went to a wedding and there was the fucking giant dab bar just shit was tight, all bro. set up? It and was shit. perfect. It was it was like a, a bottles except ah, it was all wedding. elegant. All yeah, my elegant wedding, yeah. In, in the Are woods. You <laughs> no, that's, I can't not do some shit. I it gotta do sick. something. It was fucking such a good sick. time. It went perfect. It yeah, so it was fun, fun, man. It was fun. Yeah, you hard for that. It was fun. Um, I know you got a hard out at one o'clock, but so, April nineteenth. April nineteenth. April nineteenth. Um, children of the slums. Children of the slums. Uh, I can't wait for it to drop. Like I said, we speaking for the voiceless. Um, finna take you on a therapy roller coaster. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I'm pretty sure my people gonna enjoy this shit. I, mm-hmm. Like I said, I've been enjoying it for the last past six months or something like that. And uh, I think it's one of my dopest projects up to date. You dropped the on the radar freestyle. It's almost had a million views in less than a day. Oh, you seen yeah, how I was tweaking dropped. on there? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yo, I love I this lingo. Because when I was growing up, like, that was tweaking. Yeah. Like, that's not good. Yeah. Now it's like, no, tweaking might be yeah, sick yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Depends how you say it. Yeah, depends hey, on how you, you say that you shit. crazy. You know? Yeah, tweaking was bad back in the day. Like, nah, man, my, my mom, she's not around. She's just yeah. tweaking, bro. Oh, <laughs> damn. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. So Apple Music, Spotify, uh, Instagram, is there a best place for people to listen for you? M-O-Z-Z-Y, nah, pull up, pull up on Spotify, (laughs) Apple Music, uh, all the platforms. I function with all the platforms. Make sure y'all jump on that thing, press play, uh, let let it ride out. One of the dopest, one of the dopest projects from M-O-Z-Z-Y thus far. Children of the Slums, 419. Mozzymerch.com. Yeah. See, yeah. I fuck with you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Marty's, Marty's, the, Marty's the guy, man. Oh, my He's mama. got it all. We appreciate all right, you being so here. on everything, Mozzie and uh, April 19th, guys. Remember, Children of the Slums. Uh, you said 17 tracks around there? Yeah, like 17 tracks. All right, good shit, man. I'm appreciate excited. You. Nice to meet you. Shout out my, my mama. We made it. Um, this one for my, my girly face gang, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Sacramento, we here, but no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you, man. Guys, this has been the Dope as Usual podcast for Mozzie, Marty, and I. Have a dope ass day. Yeah. Good shit. Good shit. Appreciate you. Good shit. What if it's like this? Like my dad's apartment. Like he's going. Some light on a Monday night. <laughs> Some light on a Monday night. <laughs> there we go. About to be on Bro, the what's this? Shrooms? No, 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 no. That's right. <laughs> oh, okay. You got any live shows coming up? Let me hang on me. What? <laughs> what do you mean? You can't, you can't perform? Yeah, I got this little angle monitor on. Oh, I thought you meant like these venues. No, nah, the, the venues fuck with me. Okay, okay. But you know, the system be hating on me. Hey, oh, that's how you do it. It's yeah. Like, <laughs> you got know, a bunch of shirts and stuff in there. It's my, my clothing company. Oh, oh, here we go. Bro, y'all came bearing gift? Yeah, you got you, man. Yeah. No Appreciate you. <laughs> nice to meet you. See you soon. Fucked up. I'll see you soon. Wait till I come back. Yeah. <laughs> Wait till I come back. See what I get y'all. Yeah. Appreciate you. 
What's up, guys? It's Marty and I. Uh, we're here. We're chilling. We're about to walk into Boulay Kev's store. Let's we'll tell them about it. We're at the What Up Dough Pizzeria here in Burbank, California. Our boy Boulay Kev just opened up the shop. I've just been seeing it on Instagram. It looks stupid bomb. Listen, I'm obsessed with pizza. I'm borderline addicted to pizza. From the Instagram, drugs. this is some of the best looking pizza looks stupid. that I've seen since I moved to California. So what happened yesterday, guys? We interviewed Mozzie. Remember, this motherfucker right here? Yeah. Dear Lord. And then right after, we had Maxo Cream come by. Oh shit. And then we thought, you know what, Mozzie had to be out because he had more interviews to do, so we kind of got a short end episode. Why not just do a little vlog, smoke a joint, hang out, go get some pizza from Bootleg Kev's spot. We haven't seen it vlogging a little bit. Just have fun. Not to mention, we just had the wedding go down since yes. we spoke last. We really yes. didn't get to talk about it on these episodes. Guys, the wedding was awesome. Turned out great. Nothing bad happened. Everything worked out. Everything worked exactly how it was supposed to. Shot. It was beautiful. Day, the weather, the venue, just everybody's vibe. It all Everything worked out. Dude. went perfect. Such a nice day. It was sick, dude. All your family was there. My dad, I saw a Facebook post the next day. It's just my dad and Goblin. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. Oh, nice shirt. Oh, shit. Oh, sick ass shit. shirt. That shit is. Where do you sick. get these shirts? Man? Smoking drugs outside of Crimble Cookies. Yeah. yeah. You know what? Take some pizza. This is Nikita. It's our videographer. What have you been doing? Been radio all day, dealing with this pizza shit. How's it going? Number one uh, hot restaurant on Yelp in LA. Let's run it. Nice. What do you mean? Like if you go on Yelp and you type in fresh and hot, we're number one. No oh, shit. Yeah, we're like five stars, 15 reviews. Let's go. We've been over two weeks since. Let's say it's brand new. It's brand new. Congratulations, go. Good dude. Because you guys came with the buffalo style pepperonis, how they kind of oh, cup up. Yeah, the cup pepperoni. Yeah. Yep. I didn't know that was buffalo style. We take, I take ownership over that style. I see, buffalo takes ownership of everything. Yeah. yeah. Poverty. Chicken. <laughs> yeah. Poverty. Chicken. Interceptions. <laughs> Oh, oh, man, my man, my man, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, I got too real. Delays, What's been the biggest ice. challenge that you didn't anticipate? And honestly, everything's ran kind of smooth. Damn. I mean, you know, my partner's like one of the biggest pizza chefs like in the country, so. Gotcha. Oh, so the guy with tattoos? Yeah, that's oh. the guy. So he's like a fucking pizza artist. artist. Hey, hey. Like, bro, he, went, he went to fucking Rome and like... For two years, I learned how to make his dough. Like, oh, shit. I used to make dough. I, used to, I, I ran a spot for like four years yeah. in Merced. Five star, but you know, not on you. Uh -huh. Merced five star. Merced. Are you going to keep building out the menu or keep it pretty simple? Yeah, we got about four more pizzas we're adding. And then we're going to, right now we only have two flavors of wings. We're going to end up ha having three more. Um, we're doing our grand opening in two weeks and that's when the full menu will Is be that there. open? Yeah, it's soft opening. It just means we don't have a full menu yet. I didn't know what that meant. I thought you meant like that night was a soft opening. Like, yo, homies, is a soft no, opening. No, 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 it's just like, like, like we, we, our full menu isn't available yet. I did not know that. Like, so like we'll cook a pizza and it'll be only like, hey, come and get it. Cause Dog. you do slices, right? Slices and full pies, yeah. Sorry. Detroit style, Roman style, and uh, Ooh. Yeah. What's Roman style? It's like a crispy, it's a square pie, but it's like super hairy, crispy dough. Whose vision was it for the branding and the logo and the name? So all the branding and all that shit uh, was, was me and my partner, Serge. We kind of collaborated. And then Justin, he just was like, yo, I got this idea for a pizza spot. What up, though? Hip hop theme. I've been saying it all the time. That's what Murs always said. And so I was like, yeah, what up, though? Perfect. I fuck with it. It's perfect. It's somewhat hot. So how involved are you on a daily? What more than I like to do? Every fucking day so far. Is there a lot of like podcast guys coming through the pizzeria and then going yeah, to the that's what we've been doing. every time? Every dude. time I'm like, hey, you guys hungry? Every time, bro. We have Lamar Odom here. Why so. not though? It's perfect. This is my uh, partner, Justin. What's up, man? What's up, Marty? Sneaking up, you bastard. Uh, I don't know what's going on. It's me, Thomas, Thomas, man. Thomas. Like, nice to meet you. I met, I met you. Yeah, I met you. I was like, yeah, the tattoos. The studio. No, when you were blazing with OT. OT. Oh, that night. I said we came over here and boxed it over here too. The dough is the key. I mean, we, you can put anything on. The dough is like the disc that you serve everything on. It's like the platter. Yeah, yeah. That's no good. Yeah. It's no good. We have better dough than anybody in town. Mm. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. We use better flour. I'm not saying I'm a genius and I'm good at it, but if you use good ingredients, it makes it a hell of a lot and easier. The, and the water ratio. Well, and knowing how to finesse it, how to put the water, how to manipulate it, and how to cook it the right way. And we'll do, I mean, we're, all, we're not even a month in yet. We're already killing it. Just yeah. wait, wait till we get going, and I can actually get 
the staff to do everything that I want to do and everything's wow. going to be great. What that, do you recommend from Slandit? Slandit. I like that shit. Now I'm vegetarian, so I know it's annoying. So let's do your vodka pizza with with just cheese. I don't roll. You don't eat meat? No. I don't eat my own meat or cheese. So I'm, I'm, I'm just here to chill. You're make that for you, right? <laughs> eat or cheese? No. What the fuck? So I, what I don't. I, no, I just, I don't. I came for him. You're vegetarian? <laughs> yeah. This fool's like, yo, I love it. You got buffalo style pepperoni. He loves I'm it. I'm not going to eat any, but. I no, admire that you guys it. have the shirt. Yeah. yeah. If you don't eat cheese, so. I don't. I'm, it's all good. What's up, guys? Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, that looks. No, this looks. Come on. And the hip hop vibes in here. You look high as shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you look <laughs> wrecked. <laughs> Alright guys, we just left What Up Doe. Uh, thank you so much to Bootleg Kev. Marty, what's your uh, take on this pizza? I'm so happy. It's been a long time since I've had really kick-ass pizza. This is designer pizza we got going down here at What Up Doe. I ate some bread. Especially as somebody that doesn't eat meat, you get a full actual experience that's like not your ordinary, not your typical, you know, like the crust, everything. I ate some bread. Come on. It was sick. It was bomb bread. I felt so bad that you couldn't eat any. Oh, pizza I don't care. Or... I knew I couldn't. It looked bomb. It looked so bomb. Look at we got a couple pizza. different styles we'll too. We got uh, a couple pepperonis going on for the kids. They had the Detroit style going down in there with the different kind of boxy looking crust. Yes, uh, sir. The chef made this one. We said, "Do your thing," and he cooked. Come on, he had the seasonings and the oils going on. But uh, guys, thank you so much. We just want to do a little piece right here. It's the day after the interview. So shout out to Marty, shout out to Bullet Kev. What up, Doe? Thank you to everybody. This has been the Doe's Usual Podcast. We've never ended it with a little vlog before, but you know, last week's we did it at my house. This week's we ended it over here. Next week's, I don't know. I'm going to be getting high off six foot bong, smoking plus with macaroni cream. <laughs> that fool's a pothead. That's all I got to say. All right, guys, thank you so much. Appreciate you guys watching. We appreciate everybody, the whole team at What Up, Doe. Go check them out. They're here, here in Burbank. Burbank. Uh, Great location. Magnolia. Cross the street from Porto's. Right next to the Crumble Next to Crumble Cookie. Cookie. Come on. Can't miss it. All right. Thank you, Marty. Thank you to everybody. Shout out to Mozzie for coming through and being hilarious as hell. Thank you guys so much for being here. As always, I'm Dope as Yo. This is Marty. This is the Dope as Usual podcast. Have a dope-ass day.